Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's video, I got a package from a viewer of mine and we want to fix his bit aches because he bought a bit X miner and he had troubles or issues flashing this device with the most recent firmware. So he sent me his bit X over and today we want to take a look on it and see if we find any issues or if we can just flash the new firmware onto it and get it up and running. So let's disassemble it quickly out of the box and let's get started with a further process. So the first initial thing I really need to do here is to check if it is working or not and we will do this in just a second. So the first thing I want to do here is to quickly check if it can even power on so therefore I just simply plug in the power cable and connect it to my power plug. So and as we can see the fans are spinning and the display is lighting up so in the first process it seems fine. So let's get into it a little bit more. The next task that I need to do is to get a connection to the PCB or to the ESP that's on this ESP. Therefore I need to establish a connection and I'm doing this using a couple of soldering points. On the bottom side of the PCB I, was, I will just quickly switch over the cables that I have soldered onto my PCB over to the PCB of my viewers one and then I can use a UR to USB bridge to get a connection with this BitX device. So the next step for me to do was to check out the BitX schematic PDF and in here I was checking out this section to verify what kind of pin I need to connect what to what kind of UART bridge. I used this UART bridge multiple times as you have seen in one of my recent videos about the BitX but in this one you know, of course I just wanted to point this out that there is a schematic PDF and that you can literally check out what pin you need to connect to what pin on your UART bridge. So after this we can go over to our VS code and in here we check that we do have the right COM port connected. We are on COM port 10. This is perfect. So what we need to do now is to flash it as in one of my latest videos where I explain the recent version number two and I'm using the recent version number two and I will try to connect to it and flash it. And after the flashing process has been done we can finally unplug the device and check it if, if it is working correctly or not. So let's get over and check out if the device is working or not and then we can come back to the PC and check out if you can configure it or not. So let's see, we are in the BitX device and it seems to be configured correctly. So let's change the settings a little bit. I need to put in my uh, SSID and a password. We just leave the standard username in here. We save this, we restart the device and let's check if it is connecting to our network or not. Normally you don't really need to move over to your router or anything and figure out the IP address. You could just view on the display and it should present its own IP address if it cycles through the different screens it has. So now I'm at the fan at temperature, it's at 61 degrees and we do ah, dot 10.59. So let's move over. And let's see if everything is working. We do get a pretty decent hash rate after this device and it seems like the nonsense are doing really good. So the device is working, the version is on it and we fixed it. So now I can pack it up and ship it back to my viewer. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and leave a comment if you like this and see you in the next one. Peace out.